I call this poor people's ballet. I made it in Stockholm in 1961. This is probably a reaction to what we call the consumer society. I felt we have so much excess, wealth, objects. We buy so much. I tried to send this up by jiggling objects together in a kind of hysterical way. It makes what used to be consumer goods look ridiculous. I just wanted to make fun of it all. Basically, I can't stop myself. I've launched myself into something at great speed, a form of creation I can't control. And sometimes it gets the better of me. And that's marvelous. That's one of my qualities, being able to make mistakes. I would like to make something like the Pied Piper of Hamelin, a machine that walks through the exhibition and fascinates children. I already made the first one, the Klamauk, after a lot of sweat and tears. It has cymbals and lots of percussion instruments. I don't think it works very well, but that doesn't matter. I'm just experimenting. Now I'm having a second go, and I'm calling it Radal or Kreaval, and I would like the machine to be so good that children will be rooted to the spot, watching it. For me, money is not important. I have to stay honest. I have to be a dreamer. I have to transmit ideas, freeze the moment, try to communicate an ambiance. This is my oldest fountain. I made it for the Festival of Realism in Nice in about 1961. It's very intelligently made. You can fold it up. But it's a bit tricky trying to move it. I put it on the roof of my Peugeot. It's very handy. See that? It's not very big. It's slim and you open it like this. And you turn the handle to make it work, and water comes out all over the place. This is a vision of our super abundant society, our industrial society. Russia is going to have this too. It's a kind of fascism, a bundling up, a concentration, an idea, and the idea is eat, buy, 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 and Russia has to learn about this. There's been a good response to my work from the public. It's put pressure on me to work faster. I want to stay on course, keep things fresh and poetic, but not to be overwhelmed by my own success. Success is the enemy. You have to know how to use the energy these successes release to really do something good. I don't just want to do the same thing over again for the sake of having done something. I want to surpass myself.